What's up guys, Puck Mike here back with another video and today I want to talk about some of the upcoming releases that are coming out with Upper Deck and which ones I'm going to buy and which ones I'm not going to buy and why. So here we go. First up, 2021-2022 uh, extended series. Definitely going to buy this. Um, you know, the, the big uh, you know flagship product for Upper Deck. Series 1, Series 2, or at least for Hockey, Series 1, Series 2, and Extended Series. So I'm always going to open those every year. So I actually already did my pre-order of the Extended Series. It's supposed to be out July 27th. So excited for that. Just going to do one hobby box. The Young Guns checklist is not out yet, but I am going to do a video on that and which ones I'll probably chase once once that's released. Um, all right, 2021-2022 Parkhurst Blaster Box. Okay. Um, there's another channel I watched that opened some of these. You can check that out there. Um, I'm not going to open these. I'm not going to buy these and open one because unless I get like a cheap pack to do a random pack video, but I really just don't like the designs, honestly, of the Parker's cards. Maybe it's some of the older ones I don't like. They've gotten a little bit better, but I'm just not a huge fan of the design, to be honest. So not going to open it. Um, let's see. 2021-2022 AHL Hockey. Um, I went on the fence kind of back and forth with this one. It's releasing July 27th. Um, I think I will actually open one of these. You get, uh, you know, you can get an auto in the box and you can get a numbered, um, number to 100 UD exclusives card. I've gotten some cool autos in some of the other um, AHL boxes I've done. They're pretty much all sticker autos, but... I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty cheap shot at getting an auto and some cool cards and seeing some young players. Hopefully, I can add to uh, my collection with some of the young players I'm trying to work on right now. So, probably definitely do that one. 2021-2022 Allure. Um, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I'm going to open this or not. Also, July 27th. There's like everything's being released July 27th. Um, there's an auto in the box. It looks like a sticker auto. You know, it would be it would be nice to get some of the key rookies. Autos, but for the price point, I think it's uh, was like 140 or something US. I can't remember, so I don't know. I, I may or may not open that one. Someone might have convinced me. 2021 2022 artifacts. Um, not gonna open this. I would, I, I would like to, but it's pretty pricey. This oh, this is the one that's 140 bucks US for a hobby box. Um, it's just too pricey. For me, same thing with um, same thing with Black Diamond here, 2021, 2022 Black Diamond. You know, there's Black Diamond is $350 US. I just got back into the hobby less than a year ago, so a little too rich for my blood. Need to grow grow the channel a little bit more before I start start spending that kind of money on six cards. You know, you, you do get some good memorabilia and stuff um, within Black Diamond, but only if you get a good name, right? If you get a dud, it's a waste of money. Um, so probably won't open that one. Uh, 2021, 2022 credentials. That's coming out August 10th. Not going to open that because I really don't like the design. I don't want to criticize every single design and product that Upper Deck is releasing, but some of these designs I'm just not a fan of. Um, so yeah, probably not going to open that one. Okay. So 2020, 2021 SP authentic, um, that just came out. The hobby box just came out. Same reason for not opening Black Diamond is that it's it's too expensive. It's three hundred ninety nine dollars USD for a hobby box, and it's I mean the whole world of SP Authentic I haven't ventured into. There's another channel I watch. I'll put the one of the videos up here in the corner. I mean he's opening a case of it right now, and he he basically collects all of the um, the uh, autos in there. You get short print uh, autos within those. Um, within those hobby boxes of future watch autos. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, their cards look like really good quality. They're, they're worth a lot if you get the right name, but it's just a big gamble for me. Um, but I am going to open a blaster of it. A blaster comes out July 13th. You can get one of those for 25 bucks. So I'm going to open one of those. Maybe that'll introduce me to the SP authentic so that I can be hooked and get it in later years, but not going to do a hobby box. And then 2021-2022 um, Synergy, I'm not going to open that. I, I I keep I use the same reason for everything, but I'm just still not a fan of, des of the design. I just think it's a little too busy for me. It's I mean it's pretty cheap. It's only 99. Uh, well, cheap compared to SB Authentic, 99 US for a hobby box. Pretty much the same as you would spend on a hobby box for Series One or Series Two. Um, but I, I'm probably not going to do it unless I can get some packs of these. Maybe I'll do that for some random pack videos just to kind of get 
get introduced to the product, but not going to do a hobby box right out of the gate. And then looking forward, um, you know, in September, supposedly 2022, 2023 MVP is coming out September 14th, but I don't know. Everything's been kind of pushed back this year. So I'm skeptical of that. And then, you know, in November, we got your other, other releases coming out too later in November. I'm not going to go over those right now, but um, yeah, I just wanted to go through a list of some of the ones that are coming up soon that I'm going to be opening and some of the ones I'm not going to open and why. Uh, let me know in the comments, you know, which ones you're going to open. And uh, if you think I'm crazy for skipping one of these and not opening them, let me know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll check you later.